I have so many things to tell you. So many things to tell you. Let's get prepared for the heart attack. Ooh, look at that. Super wet. Oh my God. <gasps> And for what everybody had asked, I need a nude palette. But this palette. I just received my purchase of that Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette, the newest product by Natasha Denona. I actually went ahead and purchased it on her website. I will be leaving all the links where to find it because it's not only available right now, again, at Natasha Denona's website, but I think Sephora, Ulta, Kohl's, I mean, many others, Beauty Leash and whatnot. Again, all those links will be in the description box below. And I do have a discount code with Natasha Denona of 15% off. Easy, Jacqueline, just my name. <laughs> so you can enter that code and receive 15% off. This video is not a sponsored, it's not in partnership with Natasha Denona. I bought this palette with my own funds. She doesn't even know that I'm uploading this video. I am an affiliate with Natasha Denona, but that's as long as it gets. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and check it out because Ooh, here we're gonna find new formulations. The palette is made in Italy. And look at this beautiful component. It has a little bit, well, already my fingerprints are all over because I was taking, <clears throat> you know how it goes, some reels, some shorts, some TikToks. <laughs> so if you're in any of those platforms, Instagram, TikTok, please come and follow me there. And if you haven't done so yet, you know, it's completely free. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring that post notification bell on. Okay, here you have it, nice and clean. Well, at least it, as clean as I was able to get it. It is so beautiful and it is also very compact. Also, by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome, my name is Jacqueline. I do film with a 4K camera in natural light. In fact, I'm melting right now because it's a sunny day and I'm right next to the window. But anyhow, friends, here to what you came for. This baby, let's open it up. Nice, it comes with a nice size mirror and this palette features a high-tech formula on the bronzer and contour trio. Also, we have here a new formulation of eyeshadows on this hyper silk formula that, listen now, is not a cream to powder formula, but a gel to powder formula, which in that terms, if it's a gel to powder formula, it makes sense to what Natasha Denona was stating on her Instagram stories that she wanted with this formulation to be extremely easy to use. If you want just one and done eyeshadows, eyeshadows that you can actually glide on with your finger, that you don't even need a brush, easy going for that no makeup, makeup kind of look. So this new formulation is featured in four shades here on this palette, every day, statement, soft, and casual. The names refer to the mood or the occasion that you are gonna be wearing it. In addition, we're seeing back again one of my favorite formulations from Natasha Denona, and that is the Wet Effect Sparkling Eyeshadow in the shade Dreamy. <laughs> if you are to see this palette in person and like with the sun heating towards it, wow, wow, <laughs> just simply wow. So there you have it, friends. This is the palette. And now that high formulation, HY formulation, we have seen it before in her concealer. The first time that she introduced to the market, it was in fact with her primer, the one that looks kind of like a unicorn, not that it leaves your face like a unicorn, but it just give that high glam effect. And it does have in fact that gel kind of texture. So yes, definitely makes sense that she must have infused that formula in these eyeshadows. I cannot wait to try it. Let's go ahead and first swatch this baby. Let's go for the bronzers. I know you're like, <laughs> don't show me the bronzers and contours. Show me the eyeshadows. We're gonna do so in a minute. Ooh, these are super silky. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Soft, silky. You can tell just by touching them, they do have so many emollients that are almost creamy, but I mean, definitely not a cream, but not as thick as a cream. Definitely has that gel, you know, like just that light airiness. And here are the blushes. So you have a lighter shade of blush and then a deeper shade of blush. Now let's go with the eyeshadows every day. Okay, that, oh, <laughs> that's super soft. Look at that. 
Okay, let's get prepared for the heart attack here. I'm sure. <laughs> Dreamy. Ooh, look at that. Super wet. But you know what? These other shades every day, wet also. I mean, like, look at, uh, you cannot even see my fingerprints. Do you notice that? How blur this is? Let's see what happens with a statement. Same thing. It's blurring. Ooh, now I'm excited. Now this shade is very intriguing. Soft. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's romantic and beautiful. These four shades, I'm gonna tell you, they remind me a lot to a Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. Yes. What is it? Is it hazy sensuality? Not in the actual formula but the color story gosh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous and then the last shade is casual which i mean this is kind of like a gray shade i don't know if i will use this shade for a casual day i mean it depends obviously on your mood i mean mood and occasion right <laughs> but here you have it these are the swatches they swatch super smooth and creamy the pigment just glide with consistency. It's not that one side looks deeper than the other. It's just super smooth. And by the way, this palette on the back, it has the little pink holes, not only on the eyeshadows, but also on the contour and the blush. Wondering, will she ever bring to us like single, either single eyeshadows or like single of these? Or will this palette be the start of that process? Who knows, not me. But let's start with the application. I'm going first with a Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush, and I'm gonna go to this shade. It's a super light shade, by the way. I do have a light to medium skin tone. This palette, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it, is made in Italy, and it costs $62, which is up to par with most of her palette. Okay, you were able to see, it doesn't give me really a dark cast. Now the good thing with any powders is that you can actually use them whether they are blushes or bronzers. You can definitely go ahead and use it as either a setting powder or as an eyeshadow too, depending obviously on your skin tone. Okay, so definitely this shade is giving me a shadow. Do you see right there? Which is the main purpose of a contour, is just to chisel out these areas. Refer 18 brush and I'm gonna go to the deepest shade. And you see, it's non-powdery. It grips on the brush really well. And I'm just taking it below my bone, but all the way towards the back. Now definitely you can combine all these shades together, which at the end, that's what's going to happen when I blend all these in, but I just want you to see shade by shade. Now I'm going with a Chikuhodo F03 brush and I'm going to the middle shade. Now I'm just gonna use it as my actual bronzer because this middle shade in particular is a shade that I will use it as a bronzer. Now it doesn't have any like glitter, shimmer is not matte. All of the shades, they do have a very natural finish. They are not even satin. They do have a slight, very light sheen. If say you're familiar with the Valentino bronzer, it reminds me to that finish. It also reminds me to the finish, not the texture, but just the finish of the Gucci bronzers, that they are very natural. But yeah, there's no shimmer or like an over the top sheen. There you have it. I was able to chisel it out. Like I said, you can go with all three and just dust it off, but just wanted to do this for the demo. Now let's go for the blushes. Sonia G Classic Cheek, and I'm gonna go with the lightest shade. Now this may be a little too light for my skin tone, but let's see. It's a pretty shade, but 
but like I said, it's very, very light for my skin tone. Dipping into that deeper shade with a Sonia G Detail Brush. No. Ooh, ooh, wait a second, this has pigment. Okay, I really love this shade because it's not a rosy pink, but rather kind of like a almost coral pink. You know, it has that between a pink and a little bit of warmth, but without being too warm, it's just, it's not only a beautiful shade, but a shade that may complement many skin tones and undertones because it's in the neutral family. Okay, in terms of the finish, again, same kind of finish, very lightweight, airbrush on application. It does kind of also remind me a little bit to the Gucci blushes. I think the Gucci blushes are a little bit more blurring and they do have a little bit more of a sheen, but kind of that idea in terms of finish, a soft natural finish. Going on the bridge of my nose, and there you have it. Does that the intention and the creation of this new eyeshadow formula from Natasha Denona is to be able to use it with your fingers, and I'm gonna do so. I do have more hooded eyelids, experienced eyelids with a lot of expressions, a lot of folds. So I'm going with every day first, and let's just. Look at that, super easy. I can see what she's saying with the eyeshadow being a gel to powder formula. Because of the formula on the edges already while I'm applying it with my finger, look at this, it's already been it's like if you have already buffed with a brush, but without using a brush. Wow. Okay. I'm going with the shade Soft, and I'm going to apply it on the other side. Oh, this is so pretty, too. I love this shade Soft. You know, it's not a Barbie pink. It's not a cool tone pink. It's a neutral, leaning, a tiny bit warm pink. Just a tiny bit which is perfect. I mean, this is soft, it's feminine. And then again, look at that. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, let me remove these two and we're gonna try the other two and then we will come back to do a final look. Now I'm going with a statement and let's apply it. You know, and they are super thin. They're not chunky, there's no fallout. Now, this shade of statement, honestly, is just giving me more of a true matte shade. The first two lightest ones, they do have, not shimmer, but they do have a little bit more dimension. This is just more like, kind of like a smoky, easy a smoky look. <laughs> you know, if you don't know how to do a smoky eye and you're like, okay, you know, I wanna have a smoky eye, I just, have no idea, no skills how to do it, just pop it like this. It's kind of like using an eyeshadow on a stick. Now, going with the shade Casual, and just tapping it in on this side. Okay, definitely, you know, it does have a beautiful undertone. I thought it was gonna be just simply kind of like a pewter tone, which in a way it is, but it does have a little bit, perhaps, in the laps, she must have had put perhaps a little bit of purple in it. It's not showing purple, but it does have a little bit of that eggplant kind of undertone that you, I mean, like, if you work with colors, you can, you can see it. But you see, like, these two can create a very easy, I'm going back with the statement, a very easy smoky eye look. I'm intensifying the statement so you can see it better. This one is a little bit more brown. This one it has that pewter tone. You see, like that was super easy. I mean, definitely 
These are just literally one and done. Look at the edges. They even look blur with a bath. I removed the eyeshadows and now let's create an eyeshadow look using all these shades. Yes, I said it, all of these shades. I'm going with a Sonia G T6 brush. This is an amazing brush for all over the eyelid application. If you use just the tip, because the way that it fans out, you can just give a smooth application too. And I'm just gonna go above the crease and just going lightly. You see, and although this shade has kind of like a sheen, when brushing it, it does give that very natural, healthy skin kind of finish. Sonia G Jumbo Blender, and I'm going to the shade Soft and applying it all over the mobile lid. I mean, definitely I can do this with my finger on the other side. I don't need a brush, but just want you to show that, yes, you can pick up these eyeshadows really well, whether with fingers, if say you're in a pinch, which it is basically why Natasha Denona had created this palette, just to make it easier, whether you're traveling or if you are a person that is minimalistic, cares less about brushes, not me, obviously, I do love my brushes, but we all have a different lifestyle. I mean, I remember when I had my two oldest children, they were literally Irish twins, 13 months apart. And I didn't have time to, you know, like do even my makeup. And when I wanted to apply my makeup, I wanted to be minimal, simple, easy, like <laughs> the fastest, the best. And believe me, I was using not brushes, but I was using the applicators of the Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes, the Chanel eyeshadow palettes, those. And not because I didn't have brushes, but because I didn't have the time. Anyhow, let's go with a Sonia G Builder Pro and do the shade statement. And I'm just taking it and applying it on the outer V. Now, so far, this look is completely neutral, but if you want to add some warmth, you can go to the bronze shade in the middle. Well, obviously, depending on your skin tone, and you can just kind of buff the edges. Not that it needs it to, but just saying if you want to add again, a little bit of warmth to that look. BK Beauty 204 brush and I'm going with Every Day and I'm applying it on my lower lash line. There's zero fallout. Sonia G flat definer and I'm going with the shade Casual and I'm taking it on the lower lash line but on the outer third. Now I think I want to go back to the shade statement and just pack it on this flat definer brush and I'm going to take it on my upper lash line. Going to the shade Dreamy. I mean, we have to. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm just going to pop. Let me tell you something like this. I love it. I don't feel like I need anything else. Like it looks so beautiful. This shade soft. It is a stunning pink. Tell me if this is not a stunning pink. It is, it literally is, it's just so neutral. Okay, dreamy. And here it is, your wet eyeshadow. Do you saw that? There's no fallout. I highly suggest to apply the wet formula with your finger. You will get the most impact out of the formulation applying it with your finger. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's wet. Obsession. Wow. Same shade, Dreamy and Refer O3 brush. And I'm just going to apply it on my inner corner. You see? Like applying it with a brush, you don't need to use your finger if you don't want to, but you can apply it with a brush and it will give you the same pigmentation. You see right there, a pop. Down with a look. I have so many things to tell you, so many things to tell you, but mm, leave in the comments what you're thinking so far. What you're thinking so far? Let's go into comparisons. The Glam Face Palette I have here, the light and the dark one. Now in terms of the size, 
The Hyper Natural Face Palette is a little bit smaller than the Glam Palette, just by a tiny bit. See right there? Not too much, just by a tiny, tiny bit, making it a little bit more compact. But in terms of the width, the width is, I think, they are the same. The Hyper Natural seems to be just a little bit thicker. Not too much. Let's go for the swatches, not of all the shades because really these are new formulations, but if you're wondering about, <laughs> these are gorgeous, why don't you use it more often? <laughs> okay, let's swatch it right over here. There you have it. These have another undertone and this one obviously is deeper in shade. And you see this one? It has more reflection, right? Yep, just a little bit more. Another fleet too. Now for the dark one, I think the only one be this one here. And I'm just gonna pop it up here. In the family, but completely different. I mean, I think the palettes will complement each other. Look at that. <laughs> I keep going like this, and I can just make a full bracelet with the eyeshadow, my gosh. And for what everybody had asked, I need a nude palette, side by side. You see, this one has a little bit more peach here. I mean, just cover the blush. Okay, let's not think about the blush. Neutrals are there, but finishes are different. Formulations obviously are different. Let's go for the wet finish on this palette. <laughs> so good. I always get giddy with that. And then we have here the pinky tone. It's not as intense. Let's just swatch the other ones too. Because ultimately the finish, although the finishes from the new palette, the Hyper Natural palette are not metallic. They do have a very soft, almost borderline satin finish. I call it like a healthy skin finish. You know, healthy skin is the one that is hydrated and that's what you're gonna find with this new formulation. There you have it, friends. And then the last one will be, the, oh well, I will just swatch this here, this here, and this here, why not? I mean like, we're here, right? Let's swatch them all. Okay, where am I gonna put it? Okay, I'm gonna put it on this side this side and this side. I mean, all the shades are beautiful regardless of the palettes, but I think you can see the difference also in finishes. And oh, one more. <laughs> I wanna call it the mini nude palette because that's what it feels more like than my dream palette, but okay. I get it, Natasha, whatever you want, that's fine. I'm just gonna swatch these two here. Um, I don't know, this darker one, let's put it there. That's gorgeous too, what glorious shades. Okay friends, there's definitely different variations, different finishes, different everything. But this palette, it makes a huge, huge difference, not only for Natasha Denona, but in the beauty industry, in the makeup side of the industry, because that we have to give it to Natasha. She's always up for innovation. And what is beautiful about Natasha Denona is that her background, it has, I think it was her mom or her dad. I honestly do not remember. Don't quote me on that, but I know one of her parents was a chemist. And therefore she was always in the lab, always trying things and she's not afraid to do it. And so, so she's not, not, that I'm saying that all makeup artists, they go to a lab and it's like, well, I wanna have this creation and then let the lab create it. I feel like Natasha Denona is more hands-on on her formulas, on her finishes, on perfecting, on bringing new trends, new vibes. And this is what she does the best. I mean, not only color stories, which in this case, she's not really creating a color story, although the colors are cohesive. Her main point, her main focus was just for each of these eyeshadows to be able to be used as singles, as one and done. And that's exactly what you are able to do. Aside to that, 
these in pro formulation for the bronzers contour blushes they are super soft super silky if you have touched the texture not necessarily the finish but the texture of the gucci powder bronzers or blushes or the valentino or even the hourglass is that kind of soft glides on full pigment full opacity obviously this palette may not be able to cater to every single skin tone but i think you have to come to this palette with a little bit of open mind of what can you use how can you make a purpose of all of these shades perhaps for you this bronzer will not be a bronzer but on your skin tone it will show as a lighter shade same thing for example if you are of my complexion and perhaps this shade doesn't show show like too much it will be perfect for someone with fair complexion but if I mix these two in then it makes my perfect shade and then if you have a deeper skin tone this shade will suffice too these shades you can use them to create a monochromatic look just all on your eyelids you don't need to necessarily go to these eyeshadows which it will be a complete shame because as you were able to take from my application with my fingers these shades, even with, on my hooded eyes, I was able to apply it with easy and on the edges, it looked like I had brushed it with and blended with a brush and create that blur effect. I mean, like these formulas set the standard and set the bar so high for whatever else is coming up next, not only for Natasha, but again, for so many brands out there that they don't have it clicked just yet. In terms of how heavy or lightweight these shades, these new eyeshadow shades are, they remind me a lot if you have tried that loose eyeshadows from Chanel, just like that. If you have tried them, you know that those are blurring. They have the same effect like your fingerprints, they are blur, that same effect, that same consistency, lightweight just like that but these ones they have that gel infusion in it that they just make it very creamy but not thick in consistency but more than anything user friendly you don't need to be a pro to use this palette it is phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal okay friends and this makes it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you have got your hands on the new natasha denona hyper natural face palette if you are excited for it i think the shades are gorgeous are beautiful they lean neutral not too much pink not too much uh, not too much of anything this shade is gorgeous too oh my goodness i have so many things in my mind right now tone four that creme formulation very alike very alike we're seeing it right here we're seeing it right here no 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 i'm not talking about the wet and dry formula or the regular formula no i'm talking about the creme formulation yes blurring you cannot see your fingerprints <laughs> super thin very alike to that but perhaps the biggest difference is that with this formula you get the blurring effect applying it with your finger without needing a brush hopefully it makes sense oh my gosh okay friends let me know what you think about this palette. Let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below. Like I said, the links, my discount code, everything will be in the description box below. If you haven't done so yet, well, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell. And if these videos have served you of any help, please give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends. If you're on Instagram and TikTok, come and follow me there. If you're not done watching my content, well, I will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. I'm bravo, Natasha de Nona. Bye. <laughs>